Right, moving on uh, and happier things, I guess. Uh, Paul O'Grady's legacy extends beyond the screen as it's revealed he left a considerable portion of his £15.5 million fortune to charities close to his heart. The beloved TV presenter gave £775,000 to charities, including Battersea Dogs Home, an organisation connected to his popular ITV show, For the Love of Dogs. O'Grady also set aside £125,000 to the care of his dogs, Nancy, Arthur, that's Arthur with an F, Conchita, Eddie and Sausage. Uh, joining us now is actor and animal rights campaigner and my friend Peter Egan. Hello, Peter. Uh, thank you for joining hey. us. Uh, now, uh, it's not a surprise to me that Paul uh, left a, a great deal of money to various animal charities, especially Battersea Dogs Home. Of course, he made that famous series for the love of dogs, which, by the way, for some reason, ITV have given a new to a new host who doesn't like dogs and has never owned a dog. dog. Oh, really? Hey. Yeah, Alison Hammond seems very strange to me, but we'll park that. Uh, uh, but what I'd like to talk to you about is this 125 grand that he's left yeah. for his five dogs. Now, uh, Alex is not a dog owner or a dog lover. She's a cat woman and she can't see it. You know, <laughs> I, sa I said every dog owner in the country will understand understand that. You've been a multi-dog uh, owner. I've seen you marching around with about seven dogs in the past. Yeah. Uh, so we understand it, don't we? we? He's worried about his dogs. Absolutely. I mean, without question. I mean, I have four dogs at the moment. You'll hear them in the background in a second because it's coming up for their dinner time. And I think it's the most wonderful thing that he's done is to leave that. I mean, if you think 125,000 for five dogs, is it, he's, he's left it to. I mean, it costs you about 15,000 pounds to keep a dog during its lifetime anyway, I think, perhaps even more. So it's not excessive. Mm -hmm. And he's been very generous in, in every other area. Um, I also, I, we, we used to have cats as well, so I adore cats too. So I don't have, you know, really a, a huge division uh, between uh, cats and dogs, uh, although I don't have cats at the moment. So, I, I mean, I fully understand. I think he was a remarkable and wonderful man, Paul. And, and I fully understand why he would want to have his dogs looked after in the way that he'd like them looked after for the rest of their lives after his death. Let me, uh, sorry to interrupt that, but I've got to ask Peter a question because I kind of know the answer. Uh, you now devote, I would suggest, most of your life to animal welfare campaigning, and uh, he is to you for that. You still maintain you. your extremely successful acting career as well, Downton Abbey, etc. Uh, but uh, you once told me that the turning point in your life you got a dog and you found yourself looking into his eyes and you felt that connection and at that point you realize humanity and animals share this planet and we've got to give them a good break absolutely yeah that was dj um a little border collie spaniel cross i rescued in 1999 and um he, dj really changed my life he was my gatekeeper i mean he was the most flattering dog for an actor to have because every time i came in at the end of the day, he'd be waiting for me and I'd talk to him and he'd look at me and, he, and, me, and turn his head to the side as if he thought what I was saying was fascinating. <laughs> and he, he was so flattering and so wonderful. I adored him. And he just opened the gate to me to all sentience. He made me realise that, um, that all animals have the same kind of sentience we have. They just speak with a different language. But they're remarkable. Um, animals are such a great addition to our lives. And wildlife and wild animals are such an amazing uh, keystone uh, species, uh, all of them, to our planet. They help our planet in, in remarkable ways. Yeah, and of course, he gave uh, money to various charities, didn't he? And I'd imagine animal charities are suffering a lot at the moment in a cost of living crisis. So uh, hopefully he will give some protections to some pooches and pussy cats out there who uh, sadly might have uh, been given up by their owners for a plethora of reasons. Yeah, I, I know so many people, I know so many people, including me, who, when they had a dog foisted on them, they go, oh, I don't want a dog. And within yeah. a week, they love that dog to bits. Uh, it's a That's special cool. relationship yeah. and great to talk. Talk to you about it, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you very quickly. Also, vet bills are astronomical. Yeah, no, there's that. It's that much true. I know.